Hey there, everybody. I'm back with another uh, pickup video. Um, this is number 35, I believe, or 36. Uh, got a very clean, uh, let's start with Goodwill. Um, I did not have any uh, beer this week because I'm just drinking tea. But let me start with my Goodwill purchase. I picked up for $13, a little more than I wanted to spend. A NES system, it's very clean looking. And it came with Super Mario Brothers 3. It did not come with any controllers or a power supply, power brick. So that's why it was a little pricey. If it had everything with it, it would have been, been a good pickup. So there's that. Let's move on to uh, Facebook here. They have this, uh, you know, the garage sale. Columbia, my hometown garage sale website, and I asked anybody if they had any games on there because I haven't been finding anything. And if you don't, if you don't post, if someone posts something, and you don't catch it, you're like within the first few minutes, it's gone. They're gonna snatch it up and it'll be gone. So I asked, I just posted on there if someone, and two ladies got back to me the same day. So for ten dollars, I picked up these. Um, it seems like I kind of dipped her a little bit, but these are all common games. I have most of them, and she just wanted to sell them all, so I offered $10 and she took them. There's a few of them here that uh, um, that I didn't have that I wanted, but uh, I'm trying to stack them up here. I'm not very well prepared. So, But there's a whole bunch of Atari games. I don't even know how many are here, so let's see. So for uh, 10 bucks, I got Fishing Derby on the Atari 2600. This one has some label damage. The rest look very nice. Um, Pitfall, Activision game. It's got that glue fading there going. I already have that. Fish and Derby, I did not have. Slot Racers, I did not have this one. Let's see if I can see that there. Slot Racers, I'm trying to race that up. Um, of course, everyone has this. It's ET. <laughs> I have that. Man, actually, I didn't have this because I had an Atari. I sold it, and a little kid, he wanted Pac-Man. And so I went ahead and just gave him this and plus Miss Pac-Man. And that's it, the original Pac-Man there. So we're trying to find Miss Pac-Man around again. This one is basically why I bought it because I don't even have it. Space Invaders. I love me some Space Invaders here. Nice, clean labels. Well, these are the old uh, dodge -em. Have this one. These are the old, uh, what are they called? Foil ones. They, they Their condition seemed to last a little, little bit longer. This one, Asteroids, I have this one. But nice condition. This one I did not have. It's Street Racer. The other one was Slot Racer. This is Street Racer. Um, Carnival. I have this for the Coleco. I do not have it for the Atari 2600. Well, I had it for the Coleco when I had my Coleco Vision. Um, Super Challenge Baseball. These weird ones here. Let's see, Super Challenge Baseball. Did not have this one. I'm not even gonna try to stack on top of that one. And I have two copies of this. I have one in a box and actually loose. So combat. You know, everyone gives this game a bad rap. It came with the Atari there at one time. I love this game. The only problem is I need two people to play it with. It's not fun by yourself. Have this one, Defender, the original Defender. Good condition. So, still trying to get used to my new webcam, guys. Apologize about that. This one, I did not have. It's Centipede. Very nice label. This one, I did not have. Another reason I picked it up. Haunted House. I've been wanting this game. Haunted House. And it's got the, uh, you know, the original scary front. It's got a spider on there. And then, we've got Casino. Another foil background, did not have that one. This one I did have, Outlaw. This game's fun. It's like combat except with guns. Um, Circus Atari. I'm kind of stoked to get this. I have Circus Atari, but I have it with the, like, the foil background. This is the original art. It does have, some have that glue, um, what's that called, molding or whatever, where the glue's bleeding through the label. But it's still in nice condition. Um, for being like 1978 Lego program and audio visual 1978 about as old as I am that's pretty old and then video chess something I'll never play because 
from what I hear, I don't know if I have this, but from what I hear, the you'll make a move and the computer guy, it will take him sometimes four hours to make a move. So <laughs> they had to think that out process. So for 10 bucks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 games. So it's about 50 cents a game. And that's really about what those were worth. I mean, they're worth about a dollar a piece, but I have most of them. And then on the, the uh, same site, this lady uh, um, said she had some Nintendo games, and she sent me a picture. And she said that this, the regular Nintendo were um, $2, and the Super Nintendo were $3. So I actually made an offer. There's seven games here. I made her an offer of $15. There's nothing spectacular. Um, that's why I didn't offer her more. And she said, yeah. And then she got back with me and said she had some PS2 games. And, and they were all sports games. But she did have one Xbox game in there. So I offered her another $2 for that 360 game. And that was Guilty Gear Overture. Guilty Gear 2 Overture. Very nice condition complete. So for eight games, these eight games, these next eight games, I spent... $17, including that Guilty Gear. Okay, for the Super Nintendo, I got Nickelodeon's Ah! Real Monsters. I actually got this on the Genesis. Um, Pink Goes to Hollywood. Let's see if we can get it back here. Pink Goes to Hollywood. This one I wanted, I wanted was Tom and Jerry. There's another one I have on the Genesis, the Jungle Book. I don't know if there's any difference like there is with Aladdin. Maybe someday I'll pop them in and try them out and see. This one I really wanted, but it had some bad label damage. But it's about $2 a game, $2.25 or whatever. So Paperboy. And then the two Nintendo games she had was Golf. I already have this one. And Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. This one I did not have. So, like I said, I got all those for $17. And then, let's see. I've only got one more stack here. I went to my local retailer, and for that Nintendo, I knew I needed a power adapter. So, this was $5, $4.99. I picked up an AC adapter, uh, Nintendo brand, for the original NES. Actually, uh, I'll do that one last. Then. I picked up... Killer 7 on the PS2, very nice condition, complete, a lot better than that crappy version I had for the GameCube that I spent way too much money for at the, but as you can see, it's very nice condition here, for $1.99, I don't know what the difference between them are, I will get to them sometime soon, I'm hoping, playing that stupid Remember Me game, I'm, I'm starting to get into it, I turned the, turned the difficulty down on easy so I could just get it done and over with, um, it's starting to get a little better. For nine dollars, I picked up Silent Hill 4, and this is actually my first Silent Hill game. So, is this complete? Nope, it's missing a manual. Silent Hill 4, and I heard this was the worst one, but yeah, might as well start when I find them. And then I picked up two PS1 games that looked interesting. I love strategy games, and I so I picked up Warzone 2100. It looks like a strategy game if you can see the back there without the glare. It's nighttime here, so I had to turn all the lights on, so I apologize about the glare. And then, uh, Panzer Front, this tank, tank strategy game, and I paid $7 for that. So, and I picked up one PS3 game, it's made by Koei, Bladestorm, and it's not, it's not a, uh, Dynasty Warriors, even though it's the same people. Uh, it looks like a, uh, I spent 12 on that. It looks like a massive battle like army battle of uh, strategy game which looks very interesting to me I do like the Dynasty Warrior games but the gosh they killed it they poor Koei killed it and then uh, I picked up this return fire for ten dollars in the long box um, I picked it up for actually my buddy on here TJ Appalachia so it's coming your way but actually I'm sorry I'm keeping the long box I won't have to send you the, the disc one I have but, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the long box for myself. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> hey, it's free. And then uh, I picked up another, the Skycrawler's Innocent Aces, and this is one of my buddy, Crack Lotus. He's been looking for this, and I found another copy. 
um, for two bucks. So that's coming your way there, bud. So that's all I got, guys. Um, not too much. Not nothing super spectacular. No Sega 32Xs. I was trying to win a uh, Atari 7800. That did not happen. I should have something pretty good on my next video um, when it gets here. I've got another Atari Jaguar game coming. Um, it's going to make my buddy uh, TJ, TG, Apuleius a little jealous. So you know what it is, TG, but everyone else have to wait and see. So thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe. I'm almost up to 100 subscribers. I'll have a contest as soon as I get there. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little interesting than most people do. My, my girl gave me the idea. So just wait and see. All right. We'll talk to you guys next time.